Hello there, and welcome to level 71 of Club Nintendo. Join me today is Mr. Aaron Rivera. Welcome, Aaron. Hey, what's going on? Not so much. Bought some stuff this weekend. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> John, nice happy birthday, John. John's birthday. Oh, yeah. He's having a birthday evening. Happy birthday, John. Happy birthday, Hello, John. Hello, birthdays. So much fun. So, happy birthday, John. It's just me and Aaron tonight. And, um, so... Aaron, I, I said I, uh, it's ridiculous to consider even buying any more 3DSs until the new one comes out because they're going to be, you can't do systems transfers between them. So at that point, they're just paperweights, right? Yeah, except you did. So. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, well, let's see. See, Aaron, this whole week I was looking forward to having the iPhone 6 Plus in my hands just, just, um, to, to, to have new shiny things this weekend. <laughs> and that didn't happen. It won't happen for like another month, sadly. So um, I went to Best Buy. I was able to play with the new shiny thing, the, the iPhone 6 Plus, which I love. And uh, they just happened to have in stock, you know, the, the Super Smash Brothers system. So um, <laughs> I kind of got one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. It's pretty nice. It's it looks like the Pokemon cool. XY where it's all shiny. You know how much I love the shiny systems. They're so rare. Yeah, I like that one. You had the... Did you ever have... You got the Zelda. You never got the Pokemon, did you? No, I never got the Pokemon. I had... Uh, my first 3DS was blue. Yep. And I traded that one for the Zelda one. That's right. So, yep. But yeah, these are... Oh, the Zelda one's so nice. I know. So, I yeah, it's gold. just so shiny. And, and it's got the Smash Brothers emblem on the back. Cool. And uh, I'm a big fan of this, this design. And I figured... I need a fresh console to play Smash on because I'm gonna I'm gonna beat the crap at this console probably. Uh, yeah. I'm joking. I won't. I won't. I'll be nice to it. So but, see, this isn't the one that has the new internals, is it? No, that no. doesn't come okay, to America well, until next year. Well, Japan okay, well, has the, new internals. Okay. Yeah. That, yeah. That's what it was. Their Smash system has new internals. Ours, does, ours doesn't. Um, <laughs> but on the Pokemon X Y, I got blue, so I have a blue shiny one for that, and I got red for this one, so I have a red shiny and a blue shiny now. And, um, so yeah, I did that. Uh, and then I was looking at all these on the table here. I, I tweeted out my collection, and I ended up getting like 58 retweets and 79 favorites. Emily Rogers, awesome person you are, retweeted my collection out. And, uh, my Twitter stream blew up. And as, uh, as I was unboxing all of them and putting them on the table and seeing the whole collection, I realized, Aaron. Nintendo's got me. I, I can't not not get the other ones this year. So I free ordered the so NES going one. To, uh, yeah. Yeah, I free, I free ordered the one I make fun of that is ugly as all get out, that is lazy design, that's an awful console, but I can't help myself. I, I want so it. now that you're going back into getting your 3DSs, you have to get that Pikachu one. I do. That's the missing link. <laughs> Dan of Club PlayStation actually has that, that, that Pikachu system. He always taunts me because it's the only one I don't have. <laughs> I, yeah, the, my I question, okay, when the new 3DS has come out, will Pikachu owners be selling theirs on eBay in a higher volume to make that cheaper, or as more time goes on, will that become a more valuable system? What do you think? I think it will... <clears throat> that one will always be pretty expensive. It's going to be okay. a rare item because... People know what it's worth. They know it's hard to find now. So there still might be people that are trying to sell it online, but it'll still be pretty high cost, I think. Yeah. Now, I should mention to upgrade, to, to get the NES uh, and uh, 3DS, I've decided to actually sell my my original red 3DS XL. It has a lot of sentimental value, but... I don't think you should do it. You don't think I should sell that one? No, because... You have the collection of all the other ones, and it's nice to have the original XL. Oh, yeah. You have all, all the limited edition ones. I do. And, and you know, you got to have one of the originals. Oh, don't say this to me, Aaron. Like, hey, if you uh, want to you wanna write your next book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, 3DS Evolution. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, the 3DS Collector's Journal. Yeah, <laughs> I should do that. Um 
But I've got to sell this thing, right? The red one. It seems so out of place. Like every other one's no, limited. That's issue. the nice thing about it. Is you can see you you can show you know whenever you're you're taking your photos. Yeah. Here's the original 3ds, and here is all. I'm in the 3ds XL, and here's all the changes they made over time. See, so Aaron, you're kind of getting me to just spend <laughs> money, but also to not sell things at this point too. Well, yeah. Then why would you want to sell your your collection? Because because that's just a regular. I know, but it's still part of your XL collection. And just like you said, it has sentimental value. It does. Now, I have sold some of my, my so old... You sold your blue one, right? You sold your original 3DS. Yeah. yeah. But see, You're I'm not, not a collector really in, like me. Yeah, I'm not into the collecting like that. But, but it had probably had sentimental value, that first one, right? You grew yeah. attached to certain this, things. I, I'm more attached to, to my, my current one than I am. That one's so good. I As I was thinking out of the box to do the photos, like, oh, this thing's so good. Well, because I only had my my uh, 3ds, the, like the blue one, for maybe about three months or so. Yeah, and I'm on. Upgraded, so. Yeah, this was the longest cycle between an upgrade because this was a full like six months between the Disney one and this one. Last year's like every three months I had a new system in my hands. Yeah. Yeah. But see, I I have sold some consoles before. I've sold some handhelds before, and now I look back on it, and I really wish that I would have kept them. So yeah, I mean, I could probably get 115. That 3ds XL I'm not using anymore. There's no purpose except for being in my collection. But will I look back and be sad? You'll be part of a rare group that has all 3ds XLs. There's not many people that can say that. It's true. I mean, I'm not getting all the colors. I'm not getting blue, black, white, and all. Yeah, those. but you still, but you still have one of each. You That's still true. have the red one. Except for that damned Pikachu system. <laughs> I'll, I'll begin that at some point. Um, I, yeah. Let me just take a gander on eBay. I'm not going to buy it right now because I don't have money to do that because I've been buying all these other stupid things. Um, Pikachu. So currently... If I, oh, crap. <laughs> uh, $300 for a good condition one, it looks like, is kind of the going rate. It sucks, though, Aaron. Like, all my limited editions, they're, they're more... They're, I, I would make my money back easily, but nothing as crazy as a Pikachu one. Like, I wish I started collecting these things, like, <laughs> when the Pikachu one came. This is the first limited edition, the Pikachu. And, uh, it continues to be the most expensive one. It's because it has nipples, dude. Well, so does my, uh, <laughs> Smash one. What? It does? I think so. Yeah, yeah, oh, oh this is funny, this is funny. Uh, Pikachu sort of has nipples in this one. Like, there's a little uh, Pikachu, and there's almost a nipple. Yeah, they purposely did that. It's like almost <laughs> a nipple there. It's almost there. It's almost a nipple. So, um, yeah, I could get one for 300 bucks as a buy it now. That's that's expensive, man. Yeah, but weren't they selling, like, I mean, it's really not that much when you think about it. I mean, it's because, a $100 premium. Yeah. I mean... So, just auctions ending soonest. 10 hours left, 233, 4, yeah. So, everyone listening to 300. now, next week, Tim's going to be talking about, so I ended up buying a... No, Pikachu. I've looked at Pikachu <laughs> systems before. I've not, the, the prices have not changed radically over the past, uh, past few months or year that I've been monitoring those prices change. Uh, if only Dan would sell me his, you know. Maybe you can know. work out a deal. Yeah, or he doesn't want to sell it, though. He, he the next time it. he comes over, he's mysteriously going to leave it behind. <laughs> yeah. It's like, Dan has payments. <laughs> yeah. And you're not going to know anything about it somehow. No. <laughs> like, what? I, I asked I Dan, like, would you like to donate to the the museum, the collection? The collection. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it'd be part of history. But I, I, he didn't buy, go for that that, that yeah. much. No. But yeah, I'm up to... So I got seven limited editions. Um, and my red... No, I've got more than that. So uh, Six, seven, eight. Because I forgot the Japanese one. It's got eight limited editions. I got a regular and a 2DS. So. Anyways. So the 2DS, you never even use that anymore, do you? <laughs> I, I just feel like I have to have that weird piece of hardware in my life. <laughs> it is weird. I mean, it seems like uh, I'm not going to buy the regular original 3DS, but 2DS, I seem like I have to have that in my life. Um, just to, to have. No. 
If you're really going to have the collection, you have to have one 3DS. One original. Uh, <laughs> and maybe... It has to be the Zelda one. Well, you have to get this. <laughs> the, the Ocarina of Time one is beautiful. Yeah. It's like yeah. that the, the gamepad out back there. But, Aaron, I think um, when the new 3DS comes out... I don't know when those, because those, those will drop. They'll be like $50 <laughs> at some point, GameStop. Yeah, like, those will be they're not cheap. Yeah. Those won't have value. <laughs> At all, um, I've I've hoped that my limited edition systems will hold value after the new 3DS comes out because collectors like me that start collecting after the fact will want these at some point. Yeah, there's always a new batch of people being born that want to buy Nintendo stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, um, yeah. So, um, getting the NES one that comes out 10-10. Then Persona Q, I've not pre-ordered that, but it comes out the end of November, like November 25th or something. So, good chance. And there's a good gap between 10, 10, 11, 25. Then I'll get that one as well. So, I'll have them all except for Pikachu. And, uh, okay, I think we should end this this part of the, the show. This has <laughs> gone on too long. But um, final question, do you think they'll release any limited editions outside of these up, in, up until the new 3DS hits America? Like, are we done? Is this it? Can we be done with this? Uh, I don't know. Maybe there'll be one more. They might do one more before the holidays. Not before the holidays. I'm talking about, like, early 2015. No, I mean, they might do one, though, before the holidays, and that might be it. They might not do one, like, you know, like, what maybe do you mean? announce They're one. doing more in three in one holiday season? Yeah. They no. might... Oh, they might do it. No, because like we said last week, it's really just the same. It's like the same, uh, like, hardware. They're just putting a different faceplate. Yeah, they are. So they might just be trying to get rid of the old ones. They they are. already. They got me. Yeah. Um, I'll tell you, it's weird using a black system again. I've been using the white 3S's so long. I kind of like the change of pace. It's, it's, It's been so long. Yeah. But, uh, I like the gold, so... <laughs> oh, that's right, you have gold internals. Yeah. Well, the NES is going to have gray internals. Ooh. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's different, all right. Um, but speaking of faceplates, Aaron, um, Japan has announced new 3DS limited edition Pokemon systems for um, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. And this is uh, kind of cool. Um, they've got a red and a blue one for the different colored games. And uh, this is limited edition faceplates for all I can tell, uh, which is weird because on like Play Asia, this thing's like 360, but in uh, Japan, it's like 177. It's got like a $17 upcharge from the regular one. So people are pre ordering these things for like huge premiums, and these are easily swappable faceplates that seem less special to... Uh, I don't know, what are your stance on limited edition faceplates versus consoles that are... That's what they are for their entire life, you know? Um, I like the idea of the faceplates better than the console. I agree. I would love to buy all these just as the faceplates. <laughs> but, I don't know. So so is this... So it, you're saying that this console just comes with the, with the faceplate? Yeah, that's what it comes okay. with. It's just like the new 3DS... With the um, the po- the red or blue Pokemon from Ruby and Sapphire, and it comes with that faceplate, and people are pre-ordering this thing for crazy high numbers. Like this is three hundred sixty dollars Pokemon Center exclusive kind of thing. It's one of those deals. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's worth it. I really don't either, because <laughs> you could buy almost the Monster Hunter one for which is four hundred bucks um, at that price almost. Yeah, and you get a game with that one. I don't know. Maybe it'll be hard to find those those faceplates, though. Maybe. Yeah, I really want, like, buildyourownfaceplate.com like, thing set up. <laughs> that should be a thing. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, what's your first story of the week? Well, let's see what I got here. Um, oh, so speaking of 3DS and all, um, Engadget um, at the Tokyo Game Show. Oh, yeah, hands-on. Um, yeah, yeah, they were um, taking a look at the new 3DS and apparently they were not impressed. Oh, they're never impressed. <laughs> I read Kotaku's and they were impressed. Well, in Gadget's strange because they like some things I think aren't really that impressive. And the things that are, like a new 3DS, that's pretty cool. But they don't yeah. care. 
And they're not really a gaming site. They're a tech site. I don't know. It's weird. Like, even Polygon, like, they're a gaming site, but... I don't know. I feel like they... A lot of sites have such a agenda. I don't know how much I am reading the author versus the agenda of the site and what they're trying to portray on companies. It's a it's hard balance. Yeah. Um, well, what they said here is... Um, See, there really uh, wasn't much a difference from my now obsolete 3DS XL at home. Um, and there are no games that appropriately make the most of the analog stick. So um, that's a lie right there. Monster Hunter 4 that's already out does it. Uh, Sub Wars probably does it. Anything with Circle Pet Pro support, which does that. Uh, Kid Icarus Uprising probably. I mean, there's tons of games that support this. This sounds like he just doesn't know what he's talking and then about. He also said... Um, with Monster Hunter 4, the right stick was assigned to camera duties, a role it shared with the D-pad, and um, about a third of the touchscreen, too. Yeah. That's because it's supporting the old 3DSs at the same time, right? But Yeah. I mean, it's a much better interface to use that than the other buttons. Like, when I played Monster Hunter 4 on my Japanese 3DS... I didn't even move the camera because I didn't want to deal with that. Like, this is going to be able to do that pretty easily. Um, I heard from other sites that this feels like, you know those laptop nub, nubs you had in those ThinkPads? Yeah. feels like Think that pads, a little bit. Yeah, yeah it feels like that. Um, it'll be hard to tell how this is for anything but camera control. Like, will this be appropriate for shooters? I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. But, I don't know, it, it's it's interesting that they added it on. I heard the 3D was working well, though. Um, I was reading, um, um, what was the site? Uh, radio, uh, no, um, RFN, not RFN, Nintendo World Report, sorry, NWR. Uh, the 3D was working well, they were moving the system around, and the 3D effect was staying with them. So that I'm really looking forward to. Like, in a game like Smash, you're moving the system around a lot. That 3D effect has really done great, but if you're too active of a player, it might distract you. Um, yeah. So that 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 will be pretty great. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. New 3DS. I'm excited. I think if... what I think a lot of ton of games will start to support this once it comes out. Quite honestly. It'll be big. Yeah, I think so too. I mean, because there are already tons of games for the 3DS. And I think that... Um, They've done all they can, right? Yeah, well, I don't know if they've done all they can, but I think that people just like making games on the 3DS. People like playing games on the 3DS. Mm-hmm. So I think that it's just going to open it up even like wider for people to make Yeah, games. I mean, just open up the hardware. It'll be amazing. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm curious how long this will extend its life. Will this will be uh, another four-year run of 3DS or three-year run? or When will we get the 4DS? I don't know. I think it'll happen a year before the Wii U, or a year before the uh, new console. The new Wii U. Yeah. Oh no! Please don't do that, Nintendo. The, the new, new Wii U. Wii U. Yeah. <laughs> How awful would that be? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I <laughs> think, they could I, happen think I think they're really gonna think about the naming of the next one. <laughs> <laughs> they better. They've got such hate for the new 3DS, which. Understandably so. It's confusing to some people. Many people. Most yeah. people. Um, so I just wanted to mention, uh, back to 3DS stuff, PlayAsia now has the faceplates and docks up for pre-order. The 15 bucks for the docks. And uh, I saw faceplates as high as $37. Mine was $16 for the tra- uh, transparent blue and yellow is what I, what I got. And I got a charging dock as well. So, um, Yeah, besides getting um, my NES... 3DS and on 1010, I'll also be getting the new 3DS from Japan. I think I'm more excited about the new 3DS from Japan. Honestly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you see that NES, um, the fan alternative version of the 3DS? I did. Yeah. That John did, sent us. Did we talk about that already? Yeah. Now John sent this to us okay. um, on Monday after we ranted how terrible this was and how yeah. no one should buy it. <laughs> it looks awesome. Yeah. It does. Doesn't that fan, a fan I mean, one look great? And, and that's exactly like we said they should have made it. It should have been mm-hmm. like the um, like the Game Boy Advance SP one. Yeah, totally. So basically they took a system and they like sanded parts down and did some spray painting. It looks great. Yeah. Someone should mass produce that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. 
But yeah, Maybe at game, if, you, if you want to see the box, at least for this, my GameStop had the NES boxes. So I guess you look at the box for the NES 3DS. You went to a GameStop? I was, uh, you know, getting some uh, steering fluid because I have to refill it every time I drive now because <laughs> um, it just leaks all really fast. And it was right across the street. So I wanted in there, the 50 bucks down on an S and uh, 3DS. So. Wow. I know. <laughs> I know, Aaron. It's bad. Yeah. But that, it's exclusive to them, right? As well yeah, as the Persona Q. It's so sad. I just don't like it, yeah. I don't like it either. Anyways, um, Pokemon. No, we all talk about that. Um, Mario and Luigi Dream Team has a bit of a fiasco on Miiverse. Did you see much oh, of this? Oh, yeah. So, I don't know what happened. But People were posting porn and, and illicit <laughs> stuff. I don't know. Because you can post everything. You can post anything. Anything, you want. yeah. So, I guess initially, Martin Luigi Dream Team moderators were just banning images and probably flagging users as bad people. And then they finally just cut off image uploading because they're going to probably do some update to this game to fix this. Yeah. Because evidently, you can just upload any, any image from the web browser. Yep. Kind of a bad bug, but. All those young, uh, impressionable children, Aaron. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, regarding Smash Brothers, we learned why the Ice Climbers didn't make it to the game. Why is that? Because they can't work on the 3DS. How, how would they not be able to work on the 3DS? Not enough power, not enough juice. What? Two more players. Or one more Two player. Two more players. They one more player. Them. Well, imagine if you had four people as Ice Climbers... That's where it gets. Uh, that's probably where they get challenged. Like you, you have eight players on the screen at that point. Yeah, but well, is Luma not? Why is Luma not as hard? With less speed. I don't like, know. What's the Does difference? Luma actually have like a move set. Luma mirrors. Luma mirrors whatever Rosalina does. Does Ice Climbers not mirror what the other Ice Climber does? No. So, yeah, they have, like, you can do different things with, with each of them. So, like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain. I know, like, for example, like, their their jump, each of them does a separate thing during the jump. Hmm. You know, like their triple jump thing, so. Yeah, okay. It's a shame, though, like, the Wii U version, they had it working, that they cut it from the 3DS, or from both, because it didn't work on the 3DS. Like, it was already done, it sounded like. So it's like the Wii U got penalized because the 3DS version is a thing. Because hmm. they feel compelled to match the rosters in both. Or maybe that should have just been like a bonus. Like the yeah. Wii U has Ice Climbers. One extra character. Bonus. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But it's disappointing. Because I know there's... When I watch competition play, there's a ton of... At least a couple of good competition players with Ice Climbers... And so much fun watching them play as Ice Climbers in this high level of play. And they, those guys have got to be so bummed that their favorite character, the ones that they, they love to play as, isn't there. You know, So it's sad. Yeah. So. They should have done either like one of two things. Either you could play as as this character, but only have, like one person could select it or something like that. Yeah. And then, or have it to where the Wii U has this, like, has this extra character. And the 3DS has its own, you know, uh, special character. Right. That'd work. Yeah. Give you more incentive to buy both, uh, mm -hmm. both copies, right? Yep. So, so. that's kind of sad. Um, uh, what was I going to say about that? Um, evidently, there's a chant. If you have a certain character combination, they'll actually chant out the names of the Ice Climbers as, like, an Easter egg. <laughs> Just kind of interesting when you're doing good. Um... But uh, it hit over a million copies, or just under a million copies, in Japan its first weekend. Uh, and so it did that, like a million, one weekend. I was one of them. I'm in America, but I bought it from Japan. Um, wonder how many imports of that game there were. <laughs> how many of the million. But uh, that same week, Destiny came out, of course, if you recall. Destiny, yeah. And in Japan, that sold... 91,000 copies for PS4 and 49,000 copies for PS3. So, 
Smash Brothers, a million copies. Destiny, 140,000 copies. <laughs> uh, that's kind of impressive. I don't know. It is, yeah. Because Destiny is a huge game, right? I mean, it's huge in America, at least. Yeah. Do you think that's a good indication of what will happen in the States at all? Um, yeah, I do. And also, um, GameStop, you know, GameStop is not very Nintendo-friendly. They they claim to be. And somehow Nintendo keeps selecting them to do all their exclusives. But yeah. um, they announced they're, they're going to do a midnight release for Smash Bros. Really? Um, yeah. And it's interesting because they do midnight releases for, you know, a lot of shooters other games yeah um they have i've never seen a midnight release for a nintendo game let alone a 3ds game yeah that's um, crazy yeah because so i watched the unboxing video of this uh smash thing on the nintendo minute and i guess this game comes with like an awesome move set poster thingy i don't know it, it looked interesting like, hmm. it seems like when that releases with 3DS games are silly because you just download the eShop and you're done with it. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I understand Wii U, but 3DS, it seems silly. Yeah. I'm you getting this digitally? Go. Um, I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> See, Aaron, I was thinking about this. Like, I'm going to be at Thanksgiving, you know, this year. This game does not support download play. Yeah, I know, which is kind so. Of I'd have to buy like four copies of this game to play it with the family. Or I was thinking about this. Let me just download the demo on a bunch of my units and just ah, there you go. You'll be able to play those four characters in this limited <laughs> mode, but you'll be able to play yeah. it. Or I can just bring my Wii U. Maybe I'll do that. We'll see. Yeah, I have no idea how interested my family would be in playing Smash Brothers. I'm not sure at all. They might not be interested until they see it. People see it, they want to play it. I'm just playing there on the TV, and you know, just chilling, playing the new yeah. Smash Brothers, and they want to see what that what's yeah. up. <laughs> okay, good approach. <laughs> uh, but uh, let's see. Um, we learned that Animal Crossing characters can be the Monster Hunter Four Ultimate Edition. So, That's if you recall, weird. last year we got uh, Zelda characters in the game. Yeah. So this is kind of interesting. Kind of cool. It is. This cross pollination they're doing. Are you are you gonna get this when it comes to the West? I don't know because I was thinking about getting Monster Hunter Three for the Wii U. Yeah. And I just never, just never did. Yeah. And I think the only reason why is because there were just so many other games coming out, and I knew that that one it, it requires a lot of time. It does. Would this be something like when the new 3DS comes out? And there's like, I want to try what the hardware can do. Because I heard it actually runs a little bit better in this one. Um, like, that's the thing. I heard... So this game runs in both the new and the old one. But I guess this game has faster load screens. And it's optimized for the new 3DS in certain ways. So developers are both able to... Kind of like N64 expansion card. Able to support both, both of the systems simultaneously if they want to. I wonder how much of that though is they're actually optimizing it, or does it just it, does the console just load faster? Maybe, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Any characters you'd like to see in Monster Hunter Four that would that would get you excited? Fire Emblem characters. There you go. <laughs> I was gonna say Xenoblade characters. Yeah. Get that Mon Monado in there. So I started playing that um, on my PC. Xenoblade. Yeah. You got on the Wii, Aaron. That's what, what the heck. But I can run it in 1080p now. Does it really look that much better? Oh, it does. I'll show you some screenshots. Okay. I mean, it looks pretty great on my projector. Just saying. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks good already, but it's just clear. It's clearer because. Did you have to restart your game save file though? Yes. <laughs> so are you gonna do that, or are you gonna do it on the Wii? I think I'm gonna do it on the PC. Okay. Are you actually gonna do this this time? I I still have to finish it as well. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I gotta finish this. Yeah. I get so distracted, though. Like, this game is amazing. I just got... <laughs> I got stuck. There's just so it. much stuff. There's so much stuff. Well, in I it. got stuck. I needed the grind, and I didn't feel like grinding. I need yeah. to do it. So, um... Hyrule Warriors comes out this Friday, the 26th. I've pre-ordered it from Best Buy for my wonderful $48. Fine discount. Um, are you passing on this one, Aaron? No. I'm gonna get it. I just have you are. pre-ordered or anything. 
You get it when it comes out or when it gets goes on a sale or something? Or um, Maybe. Like, I might not wait on a sale, but probably just wait a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to get that, that awesome uh, Skyward Sword uh, costumes. Yeah. yeah. But this comes out like a terrible time. Smash comes out like a week later on 3DS. <laughs> yeah. Why don't they push this game out to like early September when nothing was out on Wii U? Uh, it baffles know. me. Yeah. Anyways, um, <laughs> what's next on your list this week? Um, what else do I have here? Um, so, yeah, we're talking about uh, a lot of 3DS stuff today. Um, yeah. IGN is talking about um, Bravely Second and saying it is one of the best looking 3DS games they've ever seen. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm pretty excited. Not First sharing. one's pretty good looking, right? Yeah, it was pretty good. But uh, they're not sharing any uh, screenshots with it. They're just saying that with the 3D slider up, um, it looks like a pop-up book. And, huh. um, yeah, they said that, like, everything looked... I mean, because the first game, it did look like that. It was kind of like this painted kind of paper look. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they're saying it actually looks much better. Um, it looks like... Uh, just like a pop-up book, it's coming out of your screen. So, pretty awesome. I will say, 3DS games have got to be the hardest thing in the world to advertise and convey what this game is, because they never look good. Yeah. In any monitor except for the 3DS screen itself, they don't. They look terrible most of the time. Yeah, that's true. Like Smash Brothers, even like it's a beautiful game, but only on that screen. Like I don't like screenshots from the game. They're yeah, that's one of the it. things that when I played um, when I played that uh, special demo thing, I was like really surprised because it looks so good. But when you see the it screenshots does. of it, it's like I don't know. It, it's it, muddly in the screenshots. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every like, there's so many games where that's the case, and some games where the 3D effect just is done so well. And yeah, it's cool here. This game's gonna be a good looking game. Yeah, we're gonna get well, it uh, early next year, or like. A year later? Um, I don't know. It'll probably be maybe spring if we get it. I, hopefully, maybe spring. It sold crazy good, the first one, so we'll see yeah. if this is another success. Um, Renegade Kid, developers, good guys. Um, Dementium, The Ward, and Dementium 2 um, uh, were DS games that were used mature themes and horror and were really widely... Uh, Really well reviewed, I should say. Uh, the developers have gotten the rights back. Uh, a publisher was holding them and not allowing them to use this, so uh, they've gotten the rights back and they're actually able to proceed with the sequel to Dementium. So that's exciting news for the people that liked those games, and uh, it sounds like games I need to check out because um, they, they they've gotten great reviews. And is this something you've ever played, Dementium? Never played it. Okay. But, so. yeah. It's good to see licenses free up like that, because how awful is it that we can't get another Rogue Squadron, Aaron? <laughs> <laughs> you are stuck on that Rogue Squadron. I am. That, that thing's going to be, <laughs> you know, that's, that's awful. You know, it's awful. Um, what's next on your list here? Uh, let's see. What else do I have? I have, ooh, this was interesting. So, Super Mario Spikers, have you heard of this? I got uh, yelled at because I didn't know what it was. I guess it's a soccer game of some sort. No, that's Super Mario Strikers. Okay, for GameCube. So, su- yeah, so Super Mario Spikers uh, was apparently was a Volleyball. canceled game. Yes, it was a canceled game, um, and it was a volleyball wrestling hybrid for the Wii. I so want that. <laughs> yeah, it, and um, so there is um, like a video of um, like the animations for it, um, and there's a couple of screenshots here. Um, I will go ahead and put the link into the chat. Um, it looks interesting. <laughs> now, why did this get so, canceled? It sounds like a great idea. Yeah, I don't know. You like spike it down on someone, they get angry, and then they go wrestle you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it looks pretty cool. So, um, like, Waluigi um, is spiking a volleyball, and then Mario um, is laying on the ground, and he, like, jumps on Mario's stomach. <laughs> it's pretty funny looking. Um, uh, have the, yeah, has there so been, ever been a hockey game? There, ha- I don't think there has. I don't know. 
That'd be great. You know, because you're checking people and do your knuckle puck with this <laughs> a fireball in this version. I don't know. It'd be cool. Yeah. What other, like, sports games do you want to see happen for Mario? I don't know. I like. I never played any of the others. I, I mean, I never played Strikers or anything. I you played, never played ten, you, tennis yeah, and golf I, is what I played. Yeah, I played tennis and golf, and that's it. But uh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, Aaron, your favorite franchise is of course Sonic, right? No. <laughs> I'm not even going to be sarcastic about that one. <laughs> I just don't like. I don't like. You know, like that little <laughs> cuddly blue ball of, of you know, no. Sonic Spinball, best game no. ever. That is pro- Sonic Spinball is probably the best Sonic game ever made, I gotta mm, say. Uh, even the best Sonic game ever made is still <laughs> not a good game. <laughs> now, that could change. This November, we learned that Sonic Boom is getting a release date. It's being pushed up a week to November 11th instead of November 18th. Because it doesn't want to compete with anything else. No, November 11th is a big date. That's the date that... uh, When's Halo come out? November 11th? It's the week before that, I think. I don't think so. No? Is it that day? I don't know. Let me look. Halo Master Chief release date. I thought it was the first week of November. Let's see. Come on. Let's uh, have a release date here. November 11th is its release date, so oh. are you going to get Sonic Boom, Aaron, or Halo Master Chief that day? Um, Halo? <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's no way I'm picking up that Sonic Boom. I think if someone There's a figure me pre-order. a free copy, I'd probably sell it. Oh, It could be, this could be the first good Sonic game. We said this with Lost World last year. Yeah. You know how that one turned out. Yeah, that was terrible. But this is Big Red and Bun. They, they have guys from Naughty Dog. They must know what they're doing. I don't know. I'll be so <laughs> curious how this game's reviewed. I'm not buying this till I see the reviews. I'm not buying the game. I'll be so <laughs> curious. How this... What if this got like eights and nines? Would, would that be just the most startling thing in the world? Okay, if I saw three reviews, I need to see three. I yeah, you need some verification. At least a nine or like a 4.5 or you know, whatever their like rating scale is. Mm-hmm. I need to see a 4.5 or a nine. Three times, and then yeah. I will consider it. Okay, <laughs> I I'll create some websites. <laughs> yeah. Start buying up some domains. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Um, we you uh, reviews uh, dot com. And, yeah, sure. Anyways, that's kind of cool news. Um, last thing I have in my notes this week is uh, the Smash sales continue on. We fit use twenty bucks instead of thirty. Well, excuse me. Um, and we got some Pokemon <laughs> sales. I just sneezed. Excuse me. Um, no actual Pokemon games are on sale except for the the spinoff. So you get Rumble U for ten ninety nine instead of eighteen. Uh, Mystery Dungeon Gates Infinity twenty five instead of thirty five. The one I'm really interested in and may pick up Battle Troyze. Uh, Pokemon Battle Troy. Trose, I don't know how to pronounce this one. Um, five forty nine seven eight instead of eight bucks. And then the Metroids are three forty nine to the five, the virtual console title. So, very cool. You get any of these? Metroids tempting. I really like those. The, it's the original Metroid Fusion. Oh no, or, or no, they don't have those on there yet. Are you talking about the Wii U? Do they? Have this is Virtual Fusion? Console, just the Metroid. Uh, no. Metroid one. For some reason, I was thinking vert, or, uh, Fusion and Zero Mission. Those would be great if they were on sale, right? Yeah. But, no, the the other ones, no. <laughs> I already have We Fit You, the free edition. Yeah. I just wish they'd remove that free edition subtitle. Like, just, just, it's so annoying. Yeah. Don't call me a cheapskate my whole life. I'm trying <laughs> to get fit, not, not feel guilty. Hey, that's something to be proud of. You got a free game. And oh, I know, version. right. So. Oh, man. So, um, yeah, is there anything else you want to talk about this week? Yeah, I got a couple things. Cool. Um, let's see. Maybe not a couple. Of Here's one. Um, oh, we already talked about that. I got some more Smash Brothers stuff at the end as well. Ooh, yeah, all right, Smash Bros. So I've been playing a lot of that this week. Yeah. 
So the U.S. finally got the demo. Did we already announce that? Oh, yeah. U.S. has the demo. Um, not just Club Nintendo members, but everybody now. Yeah. Everybody, everybody has... That's the 30-day... A 30-use one instead of the regular uh, Club Nintendo one that has unlimited uses. So. Yeah. Unlimited uses for us. That's awesome. Because apparently you can build up your coin stash and then use it. Yeah. So... Or you can do what I did with the Bradley... Um, uh, Bradley default demo. Mm-hmm. And... I played that total of two times and just clip, kept uh, closing my console. That's what I'm <laughs> doing on this guy. Like, I'm just shutting the console down. Yeah, I just left it running all the time. So I didn't get the... I, I've got two extra codes I haven't really sent off yet, but I don't know. Put them out on Twitter, man. They go pretty quick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I probably should. Why don't you do something for the listeners right now? And be like... First... See, I feel like... <laughs> the demo's out for anybody. Just don't close. No, don't close the game, and you got two weeks to go until October third. <laughs> I don't know. I I missed out on the whole uh, whole code thing. I should have done yeah. it the weekend. It was big. You should have. Um, another Smash Bros. thing I have is that uh, Nintendo released a patch for that uh, Peach uh, Van thing that was going on. Yeah. So Aaron, <laughs> a funny story about the Van thing. So one. Online has been really remarkably good and well executed, even with me playing against Japanese players all the way across the globe like this. But one match, it was just ridiculous and not working at all. And I decided to close my console in the middle of a fight. Next time I tried to do a match the next day, <laughs> it had some Japanese lingo and had like a countdown timer from like 15 minutes. It's like, what's this? Uh, the servers are down for 15 minutes? And uh, I don't know that was banned. Oh, I saw you post something on Twitter about yeah. like, you still had seven minutes to go to join. I guess game. I got banned for like fifteen minutes or something. <laughs> so they so, will ban you if you disconnect from the game like that. Okay. Even so, if the servers are messed up. Yeah, it's kind of like um, like in Halo. Uh, I believe it was Halo Three. Um, yeah, if you like quit, um, it will lower your. Your score? Up yeah, I, I, your level. and so, the reason I quit because the server was just messed up. It wasn't working that time. Yeah. Kind of sucks. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, overall it's really good. Um, I was in one match where it slowly evolved to one person at Charizard, and you stay with the same group over and over again until so they, they leave and the new person will rotate in. But we started with, like, one person at Charizard, then the next next another person at Charizard, the next match, the third person Charizard, which is me, and then and that and by that match, the whole fight was just Charizard's front dash, which is super powerful, and all you see in that whole match was just <laughs> Charizard's doing forward dashes, and it was just so funny to watch. Like there's some funny things that just evolve when you're playing online that game. Yeah, just it's. You, I was just laughing. I was just like sitting back doing four dashes, laughing my my, my butt off here. It's pretty great. So what's Very next cool. here? Um, I think that's about all I got. Um, okay. Yeah. So um, this week I've been learning more about Villager. He's in the demo. Yeah. And I, I had no idea how to use this tree mechanic very well. I don't know how to use it either. So I, I've been learning here. It's a... Pr- it's a process, right? So you press down B to plant your tree. Down B again to water your tree. And then at that point, you can either chop down your tree using down B again, using the axe. And that tree hit is very powerful. Like, if you hit someone with that tree, they're most likely going to bounce out of the arena. Um, or you can use that down B and just swing your axe at people. Because when you have that uh, tree... And you continue on with the down B, it'll unlock the axe for the villager. So we were talking about that last week, saying that it, you should have, you should be able to hit people with your axe. You can. <laughs> so invented and so awesome and so great. Um, so yeah, that, that is there. It takes some work to get the axe. But when you have it, it's a really powerful hit if you land it. It's really powerful. So the villager's got some crazy hits. And um, I think he's a really awesome player to, to play as, you know. Um, Bowser Jr. I think is going to be my main player and a lot of people were talking about Pikachu's Thundershock like where he draws lightning from the sky is yeah. less powerful right? People have been mentioning that mm-hmm. the, um, the counter to that I think is Bowser Jr. Uh, he takes the place of that I think 
Because Bowser Jr., his recovery, his up B, basically has you flying up in your car, has a huge blast radius that blows up, and it's much, I think, better than, than Pikachu's Thundershock, because this will hit even with things above you. So, I'm one of those players in online play that they probably hate, where I'm just, like, doing the up B, <laughs> and I've blown, like, three people out of the arena at one time, and it's... So I think Bowser Jr., people should fear not about the Pikachu weakening because Bowser Jr. is here to fill that role of the crazy... I feel like they, they do that a lot, though. They they always, like, weaken characters, you know, or change things from yeah. from uh, title to uh, title. And uh, I don't know. It's kind of weird to me, but... Yeah. yeah, it's all about the balancing. But yeah. Bowser Jr. is so good. He has such a cool moveset. I mean, he's... Such a troll with his new set, quite honestly. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, online's really solid. I can't wait till online launches here because it'll be even better, I'm sure. So, yeah. Uh, with that said, where can folks find you on the interwebs, Mr. Aaron? Uh, you find me at AL Rivera423 everywhere. <laughs> cool. Sounds good. And um, look in the show notes for friend codes if you want to play online Smash with us. Oh, yeah. So that'll be happening 10-3. So that's a Friday. Yeah. Very Are you doing any crazy... Are you off that weekend? Well, I was, and I canceled those days. Um, so I'll probably... Like, I will get the game, yep. and I'll just be playing... Um, Whenever. See, yeah. What's your approach? Are you can just jump in the online, or are you gonna unlock all the players first? Gotta get all those characters. First. I agree. That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I learned the hard way. They don't. That's they have to do classic mode to unlock the players. They're just doing straight Smash battles. We'll do it. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's basically number of Smash battles. Classic mode will enable you to, to jump the line though. So if you, for instance, play as Mario, you'll unlock Doctor Mario and stuff like that. You know. So. Hmm. Yeah. Works both ways. But anyways, um, you can find me on the webs at T-C-H-A-T-E-N. Uh, you can watch the shows uh, in video format over at YouTube.com slash T-Chatten, T-C-H-A-T-N. Uh, subscribe on iTunes, a review there, greatly appreciated. Follow me on Twitter, and uh, that's where, on Twitter, you can find my awesome 3DS collection, up to nine XLs. And, uh, yeah, follow me there, and we'll be back next week for level 72 of Club Nintendo. Thanks for watching. Bye. See ya.